Couture. I always loved film and costume, so I think that brought me into fashion. Cooking. Whenever you go into a friend's house and like before they're there early in the morning to like, it's it's my only voyeuristic thing is with kitchens. I like to like explore inside. And see what's going on. Everything. Creativity. When I'm building a gown and I'm on my mannequin, it's an orgasmic experience. My guest is one of the most inspiring fashion designer in the world. My ideas were very out there and I was like a little Soho downtown punk. Today, Zach Posen puts it all on the table. Hi Zach, how are you? Very nice to meet you. What a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming to my kitchen and uh, I have prepared some tea for you. Maybe ginger and a bit of star anise and lemongrass would be a good start. Absolutely. So you drink tea during the day? I drink tea in the day, I also drink coffee. I have never cheer with Cheers. tea, I don't know if we, if we're supposed well, well, to do well. or not, but... Yeah. yeah, it's growing. It's growing. I can smell the... Yeah, the... I can smell the, the ginger. I have all the ingredients that you want it for your dish? Yes. I mean, I was perplexed when I saw the, the, the recipe. It's, it's very personal to you, right? It's personal to me and, and to my life that I live every day. Well, the meal, you know, is inspired by the need to find a nutritious, healthy meal that I could make fast, that I could make on the go. Yes. I work in Tribeca and they opened a great Japanese supermarket. Oh, there. that's why you have so the, all those ingredients So I started finding from Japan, those ingredients. Yeah. I had to find ways at home to cook almost vegetarian meals. Almost. Yes. Because we have uni. I mean, they are in the fridge right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what, uni and our tofu is our protein source. I'm gonna let you lead, yeah. and I will be helping you obviously. And it was very Japanese in essence for me when I look at the ingredients: uh, shizo, uni, some rice. You grew up not too far from here, right? I grew up uh, just a block away from here on Spring Street. In Soho. In Soho, my parents moved there in the early 70s. Being a New Yorker uh, has influenced me hugely. I think within fashion, it is becoming and has become, you know, as important as, as France. My dad's an artist. He's a painter, He's a right? painter, exactly. So half of this loft wow. that I grew up in is his studio. So I sort of grew up always watching the creative process. Of a, of a painter. Of a painter and giving the privacy of an artist and, and learning yes. that respect yes. of process. My mom worked out of the home. So my dad, you know, I guess would be cooking after he painted for my sister and I and my mom. And you were helping him? Yeah. I think when I was really little, I wanted to be a baker. But I think it was more of a love of like clay and a uh, dough like, like, yes. and something tactile in that way. And So you cook every day. I mean, when you're done at work. I basically, on my walk home, from work, yes. I start collecting my ingredients. I try to um, be experimental by using what I have and yeah. find it, and it also sometimes can create more interesting dishes. How did you learn how to cook? I mean, like... When I was about probably 16, I had an aunt who loved to bake, and uh, she presented me with Martha's first book, and I was yeah. totally transfixed by this whole world that she was creating, and, and an idea probably of a lifestyle that related to food and a way of life. Sure and you know, tried to build her gingerbread mansion oh, when I was uh, little, the huge one with yeah, the... Yeah, she's very serious about her baking, I have to say. But you had a very strong passion about designing. Since I've been like three or four, I always had sketch pads and on family, you know, on vacation, where I was sketching things that said like my knit collection on it, you know, merchandising. And I always loved film and costume and okay. theater. So I think that brought me into, into, into fashion. I've always loved how you could express a character and your being and personality through dress. So from a very early age, uh, I would experiment in my dress. And, and you were drawing and you were... Uh... I had such bad ADD, they needed to like put a pad of paper down and give me pens or clay or material. And then I started sewing when I was about six. You like the process and... Uh... I like the concentrated, methodical. Yeah, it's almost like um, uh, meditation, right? Absolutely. You know, when I was 14, I made myself this really heinous fake fur caftan that would go to the ground that I would wear with a double zipper so it basically could be like a, a cape if I wanted to and it had black and white hair. And then my subway ride to school every day was a full discussion because I basically had the same repeat group of people on my in my subway car. And it became a dialogue, a daily fashion dialogue. Let's... let's um... Start your dish. Okay. 
We have some lotus roots. Yes. And then those are Japanese eggplants. Yeah. Kabocha. Kabocha. C'est kabocha? Okay, kabocha. No, kabocha, as you said. Ah, I said it in French. So where, where do we start? So I think most important is to start with the rice. So the rice. Yeah. We put it here. And we're going to cook it, I think, for quite some time, right? Absolutely. The lotus root takes quite some time too, right? Yeah, you have to, to steam it to get it steam soft. It. So I have a steamer. Okay. And uh, we're going to put it here. Okay, amazing. He had a strong desire to become a designer. Yeah, they said get a summer job. So where did you go? We had a friend of a friend that uh, knew Nicole Miller, and I was very young. Yes. But it was uh, my introduction to sort of New York and 7th Avenue. And uh, she was already a, a big name. Oh, it was a big 7th Avenue house. So yeah, so, I started... So with Nicole Miller, you, you learned what exactly? Well, it was seen the process of how a collection gets designed and built. And I was next to the, the studio where they made everything and uh -huh. I interacted and, you know, assisted the her design team, which was incredible. And I was sketching and she was so generous and nurturing because basically at the end of the day, she would go through them with me and give her feedback. At that time, you know, my ideas were very out there and I was like a little Soho downtown punk. What does it translate into fashion? You sort of out there edgy ideas for okay. uh, the 7th Avenue house at the time. Is, is it the right size? Yeah, it's a little smaller than I do, but I think it's perfect. So we'll put that inside? Absolutely. And I think it's just to give it, to start softening it a little bit and bring out yes. the flavor. Hello, I'm Eric Repair, host of On The Table, only on the Reserve Channel. If you like my show, hit the subscribe button below. And hit the thumbs up if you like my show.